watch out, because here we come. We are the girls, and we're on the run. My name is Sue Fails, and this is my fifth season with Girls on the Run. Come on, Brianna! Girls on the Run is a program that helps girls live life. It gives them basic things to follow so that they can help make the right decisions when they need to. We cover things like values and um, how to respect yourself, how to respect others, about a good diet and, and how to exercise and how to exercise and have fun. The developer of this program, Molly Barker, has a, um, a tool that she used. It's called the Girl Box. And the whole um, point of the program is to get these girls out of this girl box. Girls in this age group are so concerned with their appearance and who their friends are, and I'm too fat, I'm too thin, my hair's not just perfect. And the whole idea is to get them out of that box, to help have the self-esteem to believe in themselves and not try to follow the crowd and to love themselves the way they are. And I shake my little hips, I want you and you to run with me too. Woo! I'm Sandra Ivey and I've been a coach with Girls on the Run for two years. This is my second year. Practices usually begin with um, a basic introduction. These are the kind of things we're going to be talking about. And it can be um, promises that the program has developed for the girls. Um, I value myself. I'm true to myself. I'm good to myself. These are the things that we value on Girls on the Run. Compassionate. Look at your pink sheet. Respectful to yourself and to others. Being humble. What does that mean? Being humble. Just like in Charlotte's Web. So we begin with an introduction. And then after that, we try to illustrate that point through exercises. And then we move on to stretches to kind of get them ready for the workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 workout is usually about... 30 minutes and we try to have them run as many laps as possible to gradually get them up to the point where they can run 3.1 mile or um, more of 5k. Good job you guys. You can walk the next one or you can set a goal to try to run the next one. Sometimes the job of coaching can be challenging. Sometimes it's hard at the end of a very long day to get girls motivated to run for any for any reason. So you have to constantly make sure that you know that I'm staying upbeat and I'm enthusiastic and that we're giving them small cheers, small awards for any any accomplishment. Good job! See I've inspired you to run one. Good job, thank you. Okay, I know, I know. One of the lessons that we have has to do with community service, with giving back to the community. A community that has supported Girls on the Run, making it one of the largest programs in the country. This year we are doing a water station at the Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure. Cancer is something that has touched a lot, um, a lot of people. We feel strongly about it, some of them feel strongly about it, and I think it's one way that we can give back. We have to get there really early in the morning so the girls don't get excited about that, but I think they have a good understanding as to why it's important to give back to the community. to um, a community service project that's outside of the school grounds we also do a project in the school grounds and we'll have the girls go around and pick up trash around the school and then we'll also plant flowers in front of the school and I, th I think that's a good way of giving back to a school that's given them so much and also it's really nice to drive by the school in the summer and you see those flowers growing and, and blooming and, and it's a nice little reminder hey we planted those flowers we did that for the school it was great Girls in this age group aren't used to, they're not programmed to run long distances. At the beginning, they think three miles is an unbelievably long distance, which it, it is a long distance for those little legs. Um, they think that, that that is an impossible goal. When they first start, we expect them to maybe run a mile in the 30 minutes. And if they run a mile, that's a good thing. Then they gradually increase that to a mile and a half, 
and two miles, and they don't go really beyond that two miles until they get to the 5K, practice 5K event that we do almost towards the end of the season. But then they're expected to run three miles and realize how long it takes them. It usually takes them about an hour to get that done. So when they do get to the 5K event and they do finish, whether they walk the whole thing or they run half of it, run the whole thing, it's an unbelievable accomplishment for them. The 5K event this year has outgrown our previous location at Kalamazoo Central. We have to move to Waldo Stadium. They're expecting 5,000 people to uh, fill the stands along with the 2,000 runners and you know 300 some coaches. And the energy in the stadium with all of those girls in their same colored shirts cheering and, and so excited. It's, it's uh, an unbelievable event to watch. Okay, I'm gonna